This is your DNA Info update for Wednesday, May 5th. It's 70 degrees and sunny right now, cooling down to 62 tonight. In your headlines, a Muslim group's proposal to build a mosque and cultural center next to the new Freedom Tower is causing controversy in Lower Manhattan. But the group says they want to replace the worst of Islam with the best. The center would be located where the old Burlington Coat Factory store stood at 45 Park Place. The site has been vacant since the building was damaged on 9-11. Tonight, residents will voice their concerns at a Community Board 1 meeting. The Rent Guidelines Board will meet to discuss the annual rent increases on rent-stabilized apartments and make a preliminary vote this evening. Last year, in the face of an ailing economy and a housing crisis, the Board voted to increase rents by 3% for one-year leases and 6% for two-year leases. Some cyclists are still missing their bikes after police hacked through dozens of bike locks on Earth Day and hauled them off of East Houston Street to prepare for President Barack Obama's Manhattan visit. To make matters worse, advocates claim they failed to give owners notice the bikes could be confiscated. City Council Speaker Christine Quinn and Public Advocate Bill de Blasio were at Pier 76 in Chelsea to honor an unlikely hero today. Miggs, the trusty steed of Mounted Officer Wayne Radigan, was honored with carrots and a city plaque for keeping his cool during an attempted Times Square bombing. Those are your headlines. Get all your Manhattan local news at dnainfo.com.